Okay, welcome to the video for level six, the lieutenant level in the equations boot camp. This level, we, we will use distributive property to um, simplify equations, and then we'll be using our two-step and multi-step equation solving skills that we've gotten in our previous levels. So 16 says six times the quantity negative one minus six z equals negative six. The first thing I'm going to do is do my distributive property, okay? 6 times negative 1 is negative 6. 6 times negative 6z is negative 36z, and that equals negative 6, okay? What I'm going to do now is, just like any other two-step equation, I recognize that negative 36z is my variable term. Negative 6 over there with it on the left is my constant term, so I need to eliminate that from both sides. So I'll get negative 36z equals 0, okay? Now I want to get z by itself. Don't be tricked by this and think you need to add 36. Don't do that. This is negative 36 times z. So to undo times, we divide. We're going to divide both sides by negative 36, and we will be left with z equals 0. Okay? Let's try the same thing for 17. We're going to first do the distributive property. 4 times 6 is 24. 4 times q is plus 4q, and that equals 64. Okay? This is a regular old two-step equation. On the left, we have a constant term of 24, a variable term of positive 4q. We'll need to eliminate the 24. And I will do that by subtracting 24 from both sides. And I'll be left with positive 4q equals 40. Okay? Now that I have 4q, 4 times q, I will divide by 4 to eliminate that 4 from the q. q equals 10. Okay. And one more example with the distributive property here. 2 times 7h, 2 times 3, that would be 14h plus 6 equals negative 36. Okay? Um, this again is a two step equation. 14h is the variable term, plus 6 is the constant term. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides and get 14h equals negative 42. Okay? At this point, I have 14 times h. To undo times, I divide, so I'll divide both sides by 14, and I'll get h equals negative 3. Okay? Let's take a look at the next slide, because I'd like to show you a couple more involved examples that take it beyond the two-step equation and also introduce some fractions. So number 10. 10 minus... 4w minus 1. Now you may recognize just the left-hand side is something that we did on our unit 1. Some distributing and combining like terms. So let's just handle the left and simplify that first. So let's distribute this negative 2 across the parentheses. This is 10. Negative 2 times 4w is minus 8w. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Watch your signs, okay? Now that I've got this, I can combine like terms. I have a 10 plus a 2, that would be 12, minus 8w equals 60, okay? Now this is a regular two-step equation. I've got negative 8w as my variable term and 12 as my constant term. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides 12 and negative 12 cancel out. Remember to bring down the negative with the 8w, and that's equal to 48. Finally, I'll divide by negative 8 on both sides. Again, that's negative 8 times w, so division will undo that. w equals negative 6. Okay? Now let's take a look at 11. This one has a fraction. Don't be alarmed. 
negative 3 fifths times 15. Feel free to pause if you want to use your graphing calculator. Negative 3 fifths times 15 is negative 9k, okay? And then negative 3 fifths times 40, negative 3 fifths times 40 is negative 24, okay? So use your graphing calculator to do those fractions if you're not comfortable with it, but feel free to do them by hand as well. So now we've got a regular two-step equation, okay? We want to first subtract, or we, don't want to, we want to first add 24 to both sides. Okay, we're going to add 24 to both sides in order to get the negative 9k alone, so that's to eliminate our constant term. Okay, and then we're going to divide both sides by negative 9. Okay, in which case we'll get and I'll use my calculator for this, 53 divided by negative 9, I'll get negative 5.8 repeating, okay? Fractions and decimals are our friends. Don't be alarmed if you see some fractions cropping up or have answers that are decimals. Okay, thanks for watching this video.